Treating individual mounds is one way to control imported fire ants. But treating large areas often requires broadcast application of granular bait products using handheld seeders or belly bumpers. For areas larger than about one acre, it's best to make a broadcast application using a vehicle mounted seeder or through aerial application. Most ant bait products are formulated on lightweight granules made from defatted processed corn grit. Soybean oil in these particles contains the active ingredients that determine how fast fire ant control is achieved and how long the population suppression lasts. Foraging ants are attracted to the oil as a food substance, then carry the bait particles back to the colonies where they suck out the oil and feed it to the other worker ants, larvae, and ultimately the queens. These bait products usually eliminate about 80 to 90 percent of the colonies nesting in the treated area. The oily bait can pose some problems in getting equipment to evenly apply the bait. One effective equipment design is the herd seeder. It has a blocking plate in the bottom of the hopper that you can calibrate for the particular fire ant bait product you are using. Plus, it has a vibrating wire agitator that allows the oily bait to flow evenly through the aperture hole drilled into the plate. Many applicators cannot be calibrated to apply the low rates of one to one and a half pounds of product per acre, commonly recommended for many bait products such as Amdro Pro, Extinguish Plus, Esteem, Distance, Advion, and Award. Also, many agitators grind up the bait, causing caking that prevents it from flowing evenly. Because wind can cause the lightweight bait particles to drift, you need to calculate the driving speed and the application swath from each side of the vehicle for even bait distribution. The application rate can vary because of differences in the oiliness of the bait and the temperature at the time of treatment, so it often pays to verify that you are applying the proper amount. The easiest way to check is to mark off an area, treat it, and see if the correct amount is applied. For instance, an acre of land measures 208 by 208 feet. Place a known amount of bait in the hopper, such as one and a half pounds, as directed for most bait products. Using the proper blocking plate, driving speed, and swath width, apply the product to the marked off area. If the hopper empties before you obtain coverage, or if some material remains, adjust the driving speed accordingly. Before you apply bait, be certain that ants are foraging for food by placing a small pile of the bait product in the area to be treated. If worker ants carry off the bait within 45 to 60 minutes, you know that the bait is attractive and that the ants are foraging. If not, either the soybean oil in the bait has become rancid because it is old or has not been stored properly, or the temperature is too cold or hot for ants to be foraging. Ants forage at temperatures from 65 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Do not mix the bait product with fertilizer or seed without recalibrating the applicator. In the hotter months, apply baits in the late afternoon or early evening for best results. The chemical cost for broadcast application of fire ant bait products is roughly $10 per acre, making this one of the most cost-effective methods for controlling ants in larger landscape areas and agricultural sites, such as pastures and rangelands. Be sure to follow the product label directions for best results. The information presented here is for educational purposes only. References to commercial products or trade names are based on label information and research conducted by the Texas AgriLife Extension Service and Texas AgriLife Research and are not intended as an endorsement of the product or a specific manufacturer. There is no implication that other formulations containing the same active chemical will not be equally effective. Commercial products or trade names mentioned are for example purposes only. Viewers should compare active ingredients on labels to determine their product choice.